How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So let's say you forgot your iPhone lock screen passcode. And by lock screen passcode, I mean this. This very first code right here. And of course, without it, you just can't get in. You just can't use your iPhone. So maybe your iPhone is just like mine. It's kind of functional, right? You can kind of use it a little bit, but of course you can't get in because you can't remember your passcode, but maybe it's even worse. You've tried it so many times that your iPhone is like this. It's saying a message like this, iPhone unavailable, try again in a few minutes, one minute, five minutes, 15, an hour or even multiple hours. So in this video, I'm gonna help you out because I'm gonna teach you how to reset your forgotten lock screen passcode. I'm gonna literally show you how to remove your forgotten passcode and create a new one. The process is super simple and of course, I'm gonna show you step by step. And it gets even better because you don't even need a computer. We're gonna do it all straight from our iPhone. It's just gonna take a couple minutes and this video is updated to 2024 in the latest versions of iOS. But before we begin, I have to give you a very brief and important explanation. First, everything that I'm showing you here in this video comes straight from Apple support. This is exactly how Apple recommends us to deal with this situation of a forgotten lock screen passcode. So I can't stress this enough. This is exactly how Apple recommends. This is the official process recommended by Apple straight from Apple support. And also, this will only work if the iPhone is yours, if you own the iPhone. So if you're trying to do this on anybody else's iPhone for some reason, it just won't work. Trust me when I say this, the iPhone needs to be yours. You have to be the owner that has forgotten the code in order for this process to work. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, you don't need a computer for this process, but you actually need two little things. First, to be connected to Wi-Fi. So you need internet connection for this process, okay? And second, your iPhone needs to be updated at least to iOS 15.2. So it's a pretty old update by now, but just make sure you're updated to 15.2 or newer. So 16, 17, and so on. If you have an old iPhone and if you're running a older version than that, so 15.1 or iOS 14 or 13 and so on, I do recommend that you take a look at this other video of mine because there I'll teach you how to reset your forgotten lock screen passcode for older iPhones and for that you will need a computer okay just for the older iPhones okay if you were on 15.2 when you're let's go ahead and continue and all I need to do is actually get to the iPhone unavailable screen so if you forgot your lock screen passcode but if you're still on this page right here you will need to enter the wrong code a few times okay so go ahead here and enter the wrong code okay you can type it in anything on purpose get it wrong no problem okay until you get to iPhone unavailable as you can see and then if it says one minute or five minutes or 15 or so on no problem you're always gonna get this option right here forgot passcode okay and right here is the feature we're gonna use if you're running iOS 16 or 15.2 and on keep in mind that you won't see this forgot passcode on this very first one minute you will actually need to get to 15 minutes or even one hour so keep that in mind because the forgot passcode right there on the first minute is only available in ios 17 and newer but no matter what just get the wrong code until you see this message all right so one minute has passed so i'm gonna actually need to put the wrong code once again so as you can see Try again in five minutes and the message is still there. If for some reason you got to try again in one hour and you don't see this, that's because you're not connected to the internet. As I said, you need to have connection here. You need to be connected to Wi-Fi in order to get the message, all right? So everything explained, all scenarios, all iPhones, we're good to go. Go ahead here and tap on forgot passcode, as you can see right here. And as you can see, this iPhone is in security lockout. That's the name of the feature. And then it's asking us to reset the iPhone. And yes, 
the only way to actually reset your forgotten lock screen passcode is by resetting your whole iPhone. You will need to wipe out, so reset your iPhone, delete all of its content and data, but of course, afterwards, you can recover from a backup, either an iCloud backup or a computer backup, and I'm gonna show you in this video as well. Okay, so you will need to reset. If you don't have a backup, I'm sorry, you will lose all your data because that's the only way to do it. Even if you want to do it from a computer, you will need to reset your iPhone as well, so there is no other way. So let's go ahead here and start iPhone reset, and as you can see, it's going to ask us to sign out of Apple ID. And that's why I mentioned that only you will be able to do this process, only the owner, because it's asking for the Apple ID password and only the owner has it. So that's why I mentioned, all right? So go ahead here and type in your Apple ID password. If you forgot that as well, I have a dedicated video on how you can recover your Apple ID password as well. It's a whole different process. I'll leave a card right here, link in the description as well, okay? so type it in and so you go ahead here on the keyboard and you continue as you can see right there so maybe you won't see anything there we go and then are you sure you want to erase all data it's just confirming everything that i just explained you okay so i'm gonna go ahead here and keep eSIMs and erase data. Of course, you can delete them as well, but for this process, I don't see why. So I do recommend that you keep your eSIMs if you have them and erase your data, all right? So right here, tap on it. And so you may or may not see this message, iPhone locked to owner. So if you see it, no problem. All you have to do is slide up right here, and then you will set up your iPhone as you would, right? And throughout, the setup process, you will be asked to go ahead and type in again your Apple ID password. That information right there that the iPhone is locked is just activation lock and simply by typing again your Apple ID password, your iPhone will be unlocked. Maybe it was a bug and maybe it won't even ask, but if it does, you know that there's no problem at all. So then you pick your language, your region, and then everything that you're used to. Uh, from this point on, in a few steps, you will be able to choose your new lock screen passcode. So that code is already gone. The passcode you forgot is already gone. And from here on, you'll set up your iPhone as if it's brand new, as I mentioned. And as I also mentioned, from here on as well, after a few more steps, you will choose if you want to restore all your information from a backup. As you can see right here, you can see make this your new iPhone, that's your backup screen. So if you have one, you simply tap here on apps and data. And right here, I have a backup from today, just a couple hours ago. And of course, here you can choose exactly everything you want to actually reinstall on your iPhone, okay? As you can see, it's already here, already selected, so all I have to do is continue, and then I'll have my iPhone with a new long screen passcode, and of course, with all of my data back restored from my backup, and then it's gonna be like nothing has ever happened, my iPhone is gonna be exactly the same, but of course, gone with the old lock screen passcode, and with the new lock screen passcode that you will select. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.